guys, welcome back to another Kiki Giggle where we discuss all things neighbors. And this week, <laughs> this is the week, y'all. I am joined with the, how do I want to describe you? Incomparable. Oh, I was going to say charming, <laughs> okay. but you know what? See, look, it was We're here with Matthew, the Matthew. Say your last name because I don't want to get it wrong. Petroselli? Petroselli. I was going to say Chelly. I mean, it's not Is wrong. that wrong? That's not wrong. Oh, the Matthew Petrocelli. That's how I've always said it all these years, too. That's so funny. Yeah, that's how it was originally pronounced, you know. Let's get into it. Episode five. Oof. Oh. That's a good oof. Oh, I couldn't tell for a second. <laughs> okay, I mean, episode five for me is like the turning point. It's the pinnacle. It is like, okay, now we're finally through the nuts and bolts of how these two characters are connected, how they know each other. But now we're really getting to how they got to where they got in the problem. And I mean, from reading it the first time, did you see it coming that way, do you think? I don't think I did. I, I mean, I feel like episode five, sort of when I was reading all of it or when we did the first read through, stands right. out as like its own separate thing. Right. Like it, it sort of like levels up. Mm -hmm. So there was that, but I did not think that the the filming or the day of and then the actual product would like actually turn out to be what it was. And I mean in the sense of like as enhanced as it was. Oh my I God. feel like it's a very effective episode. Because the first thing we did was the rooftop, I want to say. That's yeah. the very first thing that was you and I. And it was like, do that you remember that? Day? Yeah, it was magical. All of it sort of melded and clicked. And I do remember filming that felt very easy, yes. very natural. And then yes. the sun was just naturally setting in the landscape was absolutely stunning. And I do feel like that set this precedent between our like dynamic and our it relationship. Really Cause after filming that, I felt like a continued sense of ease and just this deeper connection, which mm -hmm. is funny because that's what happens in the whole series. That, that scene for yeah. Cameron and Sherrod is a moment of connection. And it's just funny that it's, happened in life it really did like, <laughs> like, like we I, were we up filmed, there yeah, and she said action we were like feeling and it I was remember, just there yeah. it was like it was literally like you want to talk about quintessential chemistry for two characters on camera we were on the roof and she said action and it was just there yeah it clicked and i was like okay we're gonna be fine yeah even the day we did the rest of the episode um which was honestly one of my favorite days of filming i don't know about you but no, 100%. when we did the living room and like oh my god like asher is we're done and then we're dancing like that whole day like do you remember that day too yes i mean it was literally an entire day i mean it was smart and strategic in terms of like the shoot to have to sort of pack this day between the two characters. Right, it was a Cameron Shaw day. It was like a total Cameron Shaw day, but I do remember like there was such an ease yeah. and such a comfortability filming that day. And uh, yeah, it was a really fond, I still a very fond memory. I mean, and I, what's cool is watching the final product and seeing how some of that translated into the work. Even like watching it, it was, cause I remember even in the editing room with Giuseppe, it was just so hard to, cater the story in the right way because from a writer's standpoint this is the moment where for the audience you think okay obviously they're on the couch they're connecting like he's empathetic towards him okay now they're dancing now y'all looking at each other a little like why y'all stop stop looking at each other like that oh god now you're gonna slow dance and then we get to that moment where like cameron and sherrod are about to kiss and it's like shaping that in the editing room was so hard because it's uh -huh. about when do you allow it to go south and how far like i don't think that it really is about a physical lusty thing. I really think that Cameron and Sherrod have a connection. I agree. And after having filmed the whole day, I, f I started to really develop this opinion that it was a lot about these this deeper connection. Yep. The physical thing was sort of just like a subcategory. Like, like it's in there. It, of course, you know, physical attraction is an important thing, but there is, the, again, like this word comfortability keeps coming up. Yeah. And I feel like there's just this immense trust and obviously you know the secret that they share mm -hmm. is not the best secret but when you share something that intimate with somebody i feel like there's no way in which your relationship um can't develop because i feel like with cameron and sherrod that sort of like that fun it's exciting it's thrilling yeah. all of those sort of descriptive words 
it's so yeah it's a lot more than just physical i mean the camera can be seen as like the villain right so do you did you like have that moment when you approached the character and read him and went okay don't judge him don't judge him like like you know because it's like that he's not a fuck boy outwardly like it's it's not even in the writing like when i thought of him it wasn't that that it was more of what you just described but those tendencies do show up the most in him in the show. So was that like, oh God, I'm playing like that guy. Was that a thing? I mean, yeah, I feel like it's always important to never judge the character. Right. Like the choices that people make as humans, I feel like always have some sort of justification, whether mm -hmm. or not the actions that they choose to pursue are correct is another <laughs> story. But you know, I really, I really try to find like the heart in the person and right. he's really, you know, an individual who's struggling in life with his sexuality. I like hunkered down on the fact that everything he's doing ha doesn't have malintent. Right. You know, and we all just want to be loved is <laughs> sort of like the key tagline, y'all. But Come it's on. true. It's true. Like, it's really true. And I feel like especially when you're queer or I can speak from being a gay man, like right. you go so many years mm -hmm. like hiding and, and masking and, and not really like having the opportunity to pursue relationships that you actually want to when you finally can like it's thrilling and it's mm -hmm. exciting so I understand you know the choices he's made well I mean one last question because it's always the fun question to ask <laughs> the people are you team Joey and Cameron team Sherrod and Cameron team Sherrod and Asher oh my god like, but like you have to choose. There is no, I don't know. I don't want to choose. Like you have to choose. So okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, I will say that I am team. <laughs> this is so <laughs> look, look, look. Yes. Oh God. Uh, I know how to get them, y'all. I know how to get them. This is spilling the tea. Uh, team Cameron and Sharon. Good to know. Anything else you'd like to add to that? <laughs> <laughs> He's blushing. But okay, I guys. I feel well, nervous thank you. answering that. I'll kill you. Thank you so much for watching <laughs> Chapter 5, the fifth installment of the Kiki now. Giggle. He's going to chug and get drunk. He's going to cheers me. And we'll see you cheers. next time.